Hey, what's happening, Roland? Well, today is Friday. It's really the, it's almost Halloween. Halloween's coming up in just a couple days. It's the very end of October, and I've had an interesting week. You know, I'm spoiled. I took a couple guys out this last uh, Sunday, and I'll tell you what happened. We caught a lot of fish, and they, they all caught their biggest fish, about seven pounds, and, and, and they caught the most fish they've ever caught. So they had their best, personal best, PB, and they had the most fish they've ever caught, and they were so tickled, they were just happy to death. But I'm a little spoiled, because I like to catch eight pound bass, and we missed it. We just came close to catching eight pound bass, had a couple almost eight, but no, we didn't have any eight. Okay. And what we were doing to catch them was, they wanted a shot of fish. Now, I, I do a combination of things. I go to headwaters, and. I, and I fish top water and I fish uh, chatter baits and I fish uh, worms. But a lot of times, they, people just want to catch a big giant fish on, on, on a shiner. And what I kind of do is I'll, I have different types of spin. They wanted to use spinning tackle, by the way. And, I, and they, they'll ask me, they'll say, what do you want to use spinning or casting? And they want to use spinning. Okay, I'll take this spinning rod. This is the old Salty series. 50 pound braid, and I'll tie this to about a five yard hook. That's for the bigger shiner. Now, a lot of times I'll start off in the morning in these channels and deep areas and I'll free line them. I'll put the shiner on the hook and of course I have an aerated live well and I have oxygen. And you know, I catch my own shiners too. But anyway, I'll put the shiner on, I kind of tail hook them and I'll throw them up to the edge of the weeds. And I'll just let them swim around these deep canals and stuff. And here's what happens. As soon as one bass bites, this bass over here, 50 feet, might hear that and kind of come over out of curiosity. And he's a little closer. Then he bites, and then another little bass or two, they kind of, and finally it kind of attracts him. It's like chumming in the ocean. Once, and then you start losing a few, and you get, the shiners get on, on wounded, and they're all on the top of the water. So all of a sudden, you get a bass frenzy going. And that's what happens. And so sometimes we'll get two and three rods on at the same time, and we'll get strikes at the same time. Now, sure, half of them are pound and a half to two or three or four pounds. Most of the time, and now we do a krill study at the lake this last uh, time, we caught 50 bass uh, Sunday, and uh, only 10 of them were uh, less than 16 inches long. So it tells you that 40 of them were 17, which is like a three pound and up. So, so we had a pretty good day, actually. It was a great day. Now, there's another way to fish, of course, and, and that's fish our shiners with the floats. We didn't do as much of this in fact, uh, we did a little bit of it. Sometimes I'll drift if the wind's not too bad, but a little, bit, a little bit tough. The wind was a little bit hard today, or Sunday. We couldn't drift, there was too much wind. But anyway, the float works as well. But again, shiners, the, the deal, and I catch my own shiners in the process, and everybody's happy with that. Okay, then that's not the big news. The big news is I'm now a crappie expert. I've never been a crappie expert my entire life, but this last week, I got my boat rigged up with my forward-facing uh, sonar. It's the uh, Active Target 2, and it's so much better. And, and then I have my move trolling motor that has the anchor mode. And here's what I'm going to show you. Show you how. Let me just show you what happens. Okay, let, let, me, let me just start this off. If you get right over here, I want to just show you a picture of the boat. Now, you're going to have to get in real close, and I'm going to start this camera going. And watch this whole deal. Well, this is a good looking school of fish right here. That's really, really a good looking deal. If I can get one right into that little pile, it's right 20 feet ahead of the boat. And I'm going to try to get that going right now. I'll get 20 foot ahead of the boat, and I'll just drop it down not too far. And 20 foot ahead of the boat right there. Okay. Up in two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. I see it right there. There's a fish right there. He's coming after it. He's coming after it. Oh, he's coming after it. Ah, I missed him. I missed him. Ah, I'm going to miss him again. Oh, there's fish all right here. They're hitting the jig. I can see them. This is a nice little school of fish. Nice little school of fish here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see that thing again. Okay, now watch the depth, watch the watch the jig. The jig's come from the coming down. The jig's coming down. There's one. I got him. I got him, son. 
Nice crappie too, I bet. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good. That's what we're talking about, folks. This is. See, everybody can be an expert doing this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna land them over here. I'd have to. I'd have to come over here and I just. I'm gonna go ahead and net them. Net them right here. Okay. Come on over. Close. Okay. Okay. That's what we're talking about. You can see that. You can see those crappie coming in on the on that little spot. I got it on, on, on anchor mode. So these are really nice quality fish, by the way. That's the size that everybody eats. And that's, I'm really not a crappie expert, but this equipment I have today makes me an expert because I can see them and I can catch them. And I've never been able to do this before. But now with this, with this active target system, and I'm looking right now at the school of fish, just come right up and look at the, look at this deal. Here's the, here's the school of, here's the school of crappie right there on the depth finder. You can see it. And it's straight ahead of the boat, 20 feet. Now watch, watch the jig. When I get the jig, you'll see the jig go down. Okay, now watch the jig. I don't see the jig. Uh-oh. I got one. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. I just hit him on. I just hit the fish on. There he is. Oh. Missed him again. There's fish all over the place. Okay. Let's do that again. We got him. We got a school of crappie here, folks. Go there, 20 foot. I said, I'm, I'm a little past it now. I'm a little past the spot. I'm just going to lift it up, and I'm just going to go slow and easy with it. And be a line watcher. And just kind of ease along. Right there. He should be right there. Okay, I see the jig. There he is. There he is. There he is. I got him. I got him. I got him, son. I got him. Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. I got the fish. I got the crappie. Yes, sir. Nice crappie. I can lift them in. I'm, I'm, I'm just a catch and release deal, so I'm just going to lift them in. But that's that's all right. We're just we're just catching them and releasing them. A lot of people, you know, that's that's all they do. They come down to Florida just to catch these crappie. And these are nice eating size crappie, by the way. But, again, up till today, I haven't been a crappie expert. But now I'm a crappie expert because I got the right equipment. Okay. Okay, and you can see in that video, uh, that's actually shot on a GoPro camera that I went to, uh, I went to my... Uh, uh, put it on the computer so it's not that's not the scene that you'll see on television but you'll actually see that that episode on television and it was really uh, really uh, enjoyable there's one other little part of it what happened uh, that uh, that day i'm by myself and the wind started blowing really bad so what we had to do was uh was we had we had to find we had to find more uh, uh different techniques and there's another couple little techniques that i got here so let's see if i can find it I can find it right there. Okay, now watch this. Here's a, here's another one. The wind's blowing now, and so here's another kind of a deal. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Big one. Big one. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Now, son, that's a, that's a decent crappie. That's as decent as can get. That's a big one. I don't know how long it is, but it's. 14 or so inches long and weighs over like over a pound and a half that's a good one okay but again i'm just watching it that i've changed my jig around okay i'm trying a couple different kind of jigs now here's a different setup and what this is i've gone to with the wind blowing hard i've gone to an eighth of an ounce head and then i've also tied a little loop knot you see that little loop knot that kind of lets it vibrate a little bit more and i've tried a gray one but anyway, I got these fish located right in front of the boat. Here's 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 the here's the deal. Okay, watch. Look at this school of fish. Okay, the school of fish is right there. There must be at least a hundred of them. At least a hundred fish right here. Okay, and then if I if they're about 25 feet out, so I'm throwing to about 30 feet right in front of the boat, and I can see the jig. I can see the jig go down, but I don't let it get out too far because a lot of these fish are up only five feet of water so right there 
The jig's coming down right there. Okay, that lifts it up right there. Uh, just there. I got them right there. See, they weren't that deep. They, they, they aren't that deep. It's another good one. It's another good one. Yeah. So you can think it's water deep. Look at this big one. It's another big one. Oh, holy moly. That's what we're talking about. But without, without this sonar, you would not have an idea of how deep the fish are. The water's like 10 feet deep here. But the fish are only like four feet deep. They've come up for some reason or other. There's a four foot level. So that, that last fish was four feet deep. So I'm throwing out there, 25 feet out, letting it sink just a little ways. I'm seeing it go down right there. I'm kind of I'm keeping it up high right there. I'm coming through the top of the school, right? I got them. See, the top of the school was the deal. In other words, a lot of people would, would go way down to too deep, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying to the top of the school, fish have a tendency to, to bite up rather than bite down. Another beautiful crappie. Woo, son. That's what we're talking about. This is, this is crappie 101. Okay, folks. Well, that was that's my crappie experience. And, and just to let you show you what, what I'm doing real quick. What, what's, what's so magical about, about today's fishing, if you come out over this way, I can show you over here. This is the new move trolling motor that I'm, I'm so happy about. And it has what they call an anchor mode. And when I put it in anchor mode, it holds it right into the wind. And so that's what I was doing. I wasn't even running the trolling motor. I just had it in anchor mode and it was just holding on that school at 30 feet. And now this sounds, it was not the easiest thing in the world to find a fish, but once you find them, with the active target. Now here's the active target system that's set up on the troll motor. And the, and the screen, the active target two is a better system than the active target one. I've just put the two on it's more sensitive. I think it's a better deal. So anyway, the boat's running just absolutely perfect uh, with, with, the, with the combination of depth finders and, and good trolling motors. I'm an expert. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my story for the week. And hey, listen, I, I really enjoy teaching you a thing and in this case I'm, I'm trying to make an expert of you if you get the right equipment like i have to be a crappie expert now i've told you a little bit about bass as well and that's my real forte so thanks for watching and hey hit the subscribe button and uh and and i need all the likes i can get we'll see you again next week